Good afternoon. We're so grateful you could all join us uh, uh, for this uh, award ceremony for the Orange County Business Journal 2020 Excellence in Entrepreneurship Award. Uh, my name is Brad Hall. I'm the Managing Director of Hall & Company CPAs here in Irvine. And we're pleased to present the award uh, to uh, an outstanding uh, leader in his company, Joel Stensby of KPRS Construction, uh, primary, primary office in Brea, California, with offices throughout California, Seattle, Washington, and Hawaii. And we're pleased to present, again, the award. Um, and here it is. Joel, I just wanted to congratulate you. Um, it's such an honor to, to be here today to uh, celebrate all you've done uh, to build your company up. Brad, thank you very much. It's, it's an honor to be here as well. Uh, when Paul, Christasia, Lev, and I, Lev Rabinovich and I started the company 22 years ago, this would have been a, a dream, not, not uh, an anticipated reality. So we appreciate the opportunity to be here. We're happy to be recognized as an organization and uh, look forward to uh, a, a bright future. So thank you. Yeah. You started, you started your company 22 years ago and I started mine 32 years ago. I've got a little, little bit more of a, a catch on you, although you've, you've built it five times more than, than mine. But tell me a little bit about the struggles that you've had um, you know, going through or one of your, your biggest struggles uh, that you can remember over the last 22 years? Well, when KPRS was formed, it was, we went from working for large organizations uh, to working for ourselves and on our own, our own bank accounts and our own lines, lines of credit. And it's, it's a tremendous uh, uh, change of pace when you, uh, when you look at a, a company from a much larger corporation to then creating one on your own. So the challenges are always that of finding the right employees, finding people who help you grow, finding people who believe in the same beliefs that you have as an organization, and ultimately then uh, providing great service to the clients, which then allows you to grow. Right? You can't grow without great service and great employees. So, Right. So, so on that same, same tone, what would you say um, for all the entrepreneurs in the audience watching today, what would you say for uh, ad words of advice or a few words of advice for them? Well, I think, I think one thing that is really important is to understand what culture you're trying to create in an organization. It's hard to recreate culture once you've created it. It's hard to change culture. So when we started KPRS, we wanted to create a company that was more of a throwback company, one that focus more on the employee than on the profit. Um, we don't talk about volume, it's not, we don't talk about profits in our organization. We talk about uh, developing employees that are happy to be there and that in a, in, will reflect a positive image to our, to our clients and ultimately the clients will, will be attracted to that. Yeah. Uh, so th that's, I think that, that's the thing to start with. What culture are you trying to create and ultimately uh, how can you uh, get people with you that believe in the same culture that you're trying to, to emulate. Yeah, culture is really important, obviously, especially going through the tough times we've had with this pandemic. Um, you know, I know that uh, even in our company, it's tough to keep a strong culture and keep, you know, calm and uh, for throughout the, the staff, the ranks, um, let alone the, the clients. So what would you say has been your challenge with the COVID since, uh, it's, since it's really come out the last five months? What's, what's the struggle? Well, one of the things problem? that's been interesting, uh, challenging, is that ultimately, as an organization, construction companies we deem to be essential. So we, we never left the office. We never left our, our situation. We never, we never went home and spent uh, months at home. Uh, yeah but it created other challenges for us that ultimately we had to create a safe work environment. We, had to, we allowed many employees to go home and work from home, but at the same time we had to ser service projects. Uh, we manage uh, literally thousands of workers a day on our job sites uh, with 300 employees, 
and ultimately we have to create a safe environment for not only our employees but also for the thousands of workers that rely on us. So th right. those are the challenges that we ultimately would have with the COVID. Okay. Well, it sounds like you've gotten through it real well. Um, you're going to be between six and seven hundred million in, uh, yes. this year in all eight offices. Uh, uh, through the West Coast, because I know you, you, you pretty much take care of uh, construction on the West Coast, uh, including right. Hawaii. Right. Um, so it's, it's awesome that you've been able to, you know, not only survive, but to, to grow uh, through this. Um, and uh, that's, that's incredible that you've been able to do what you've done. So what's interesting during the recession in 2007, 2008, we, we actually grew during that recession as well in terms of employee counts. Uh, we actually had more people working for us after the recession than we did before. Uh, and I, I still come back to that, are the employees providing service that the clients enjoy, uh, that the clients want to, to have? Uh, but uh, we've, we've in 22 years ago, as you mentioned, we started KPRS. Uh, 12 years ago, we uh, acquired and formed KPRS Hawaii. Uh, and seven years ago, we, we uh, acquired and, and formed Bergman KPRS. And just recently, at the end of the year, uh, we invested in, and acquired a company called BNT Manufacturing, which is a manufacturing, uh, a manufacturing company that's based in South Dakota. And as the market turns and as the market continues to grow, we try to find ways to, to be on the cutting edge, be on the innovation side, uh, of the equation to try to help clients accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. That's, that's great. Well, once again, you know, again, Joel, we want to thank you for, for coming and for uh, being the, the uh, award winner for this year's 2020 um, Excellence in Entrepreneurship Award from the Orange County Business Journal. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a, it's a great honor and ultimately it's not just to me, it's to uh, my partners and myself, but not only to the three of us and our other partners, but ultimately to all 300 employees who, who allow that to progress in a way that makes, makes, uh, makes it valuable to our clients. So thank you. Yeah.